It's time for the fifth game of the Hatfield-McCoy Family Feud Specials. Tied 2-2, two to two, the Hatfield family. Don, Carol, Sue, Ernestine, Robin, and Sally, ready for action. And the McCoy family. Jimmy, Maureen, Debbie, Regina, and Bo. On your marks, let's finish the Family Feud. I told you show business wasn't all spotlight and spangles. During the commercial, he complains all the time. You could be a star, we just don't know yet. The verdict's still out about me. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the biggie. The Hatfields and McCoys, two each. And whoever gets this will be the undisputed champs. They'll get all the money, of course, and... Yay! And boy, am I glad to see you. Really, it's the best out of five, two each. We couldn't have wished for a better ending. Today's gonna be it. My buddy's right here, the McCoy! Marvelous, and you've so far won $7,075. We're happy about that. And I tell you, I'm gonna miss all of you when you're gone. I really am. Let's meet him for the last time here, please. Okay, Richard, we've had a great time also. I, my cousins, Maureen, Debbie, my niece, Regina, and my uncle, Bo. Hi, Bo. Hey. As you know, this is a special week. We have substitutions. Let's meet them up here, please. Okay. Five McCoys. On my left, Carl. My cousin, Kathy. My cousin, Randy. My cousin, Nancy. And my cousin, Judy. All the kissing uh, cousins. Yeah. Wish you all the luck in the world. Wish you all the luck in the world. You couldn't be better. Face, I really. These are great, and they're good people. Big hand for my buds. Go down to the day, young man. All right, hey, who you got here? Let's meet them all. Got a cousin Carol Sue, cousin Ernestine. Hi, Donna. Got a cousin Robin and cousin Sally Hatfield here. Yeah, who? I got a cousin Henry Hatfield. Okay. Cousin Cecil. Okay. Pamela. Yep. Virgie Ann. Uncle Dutch Hatfield. Good old Uncle Dutch. Hey! Okay. I'm going to substitute Cecil for Robin. Okay, fine. Fame is so fleeting, isn't it, Robin? One moment you're at the top. Next moment, some yo-yo in a hat replaces you. <laughs> now, this is it. So I want you to do everything you can, because this is going to be very special. Apart from the money involved, you'll be able to walk through the hills of Virginia saying... Virginia. Well, 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 wherever the hell you people walk, <laughs> be able to do your head held high. Yeah. And that pig on the leash, that's the thing I'm waiting to get rid of. Ready to do it? Ready. Yeah. Let's play with you. Is that a substitution? All right. Come on up. Yeah, you come up here. They made a substitution. There you go, fine. So I'm sorry, I should have asked you. That's okay. Oh, look oh, at oh. this. Yep. What a fitting thing. When we opened our show, we did uh, a little film that we shot down in West Virginia. And uh, some of the music was by Jimmy on this album that he made called The Hatfields and the McCoys. You gave me a copy of it. Yes, and there's sir. another one here. They're growing. I mean, where do we get these? Record stores or from you? Or how do we get them? Anywhere. Record stores uh, throughout the country or just uh, right Jimmy Wolford, Williamson, West Virginia. And I'll certainly send them all, the, all, all I can. Uh, oh, right. Thank you very much. Hi, everybody. It's no less blatant than the Tonight Show, you know, where they... Oh, I'm glad you asked me about that. Yes, I do have a film coming up. And well done. Ready to do this? Here we go. Good luck to both of you. 100 people survey, top five answers on the board. I want you to try and find the most popular answer. Here's the question. Name something people use all the time but can't fix by themselves. An automobile. Automobile? The seven most popular answers. One answer down, we'll beat it. What do you say, sir? Okay. Lawnmower. Lawnmower? Yeah, sir. Yeah. Not there, you control it. Gonna play, gonna play. Play, play, we're gonna play. We're gonna play. We're gonna play. He's saying fast, hoping he'd think of us from the family. Hi. Little darling. Hello, dear. Mm, something people use all the time but can't fix by themselves. Well, I use my telephone all the time. Oh, can't, fix can't fix it. Can't fix it. Telephone! 
Very good. What do you think? Well, I have two good answers. I'm going to say a watch. A watch. Good. 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 And he says a watch. I certainly would, by the way. Thank you. My pleasure. I mean, like the watch. <laughs> uh, what's your uh, answer, my darling? I would say a washing machine. Ah, okay. Good. Is there a washing machine? <laughs> there is not. First strike, no problem. Randy? How you doing? How are you? Pretty good. What do you think? Some people use all the time, but can't fix by themselves. Television. Uh -huh. Randy says TV. What do you think it is, sir? It's got to be a radio. A radio? If a radio's up there, it's a great way to start the day, because it'll be a clean sweep. If not, second strike. Radio! Okay. One more chance. Two strikes, but only one answer left. Something people use all the time, but can't fix by themselves. Gosh. How about your stove? Okay. Good. Well-known hillbilly song, Stand By Your Stove. <laughs> up there, Hatfield's a chance for you to leap into the lead. Also a chance to leap up here. <laughs> what do you want, mountain time? Let's move along. Here. What's your answer? We're going to say coffee pot. Okay, for coffee pot, so you get the $83. If not, want to give it to Jimmy and his family. Coffee pot! I'm as puzzled as you are. We'll be back right after this. The 51. Any substitutions, Jimmy? Not at the, this time. Anything for you, Don? No substitutions. Yeah. All right, let's get on with the game. $83 there, nothing there. Come on. Here we go. 300 is the magic number we're looking for. And 100 people surveyed. Top five answers on the board. The question is, name an occupation which requires working in the street. <laughs> that and the pig will be the two things I'll be delighted with. Yes, dear. How about a street cleaner? A street cleaner. Oh, very good. That answer tells who should beat it. How about a policeman? A policeman? Number one. What do you want to play it. We're going to play it, though. Okay. Very good. Thank you. How are you? Not choking yourself. No. <laughs> good to see you, Ernestine, darling. An occupation which requires working in the street. Said street cleaner. Seconds, my love. A fireman. Fireman? Okay. Good. Good. Fireman! Good. There's nothing worse than a street on fire. See, is everything okay? Fire, I think. What do you think, sir? School boy patrol. Man. Pardon? School boy patrolman. Good answer. Good. Good answer. School boy. School boy. boy. School boy patrolman. For the school board. School For the patrol. school board. School patrol. Put that way. Yeah. Okay. What the hell job is that? <laughs> oh, to help people across the street? Is that... Oh, why don't you say? A person who helps people? people across the street. <laughs> the school trollman prolman. <laughs> I mean, you can't put that much enthusiasm in something I don't understand. Hi, Sally. Mm. You're, you're going to be good, I guarantee you. What do you say? Occupation requires working in the street. Trash collector. Trash collector sounds like a good idea. Good. 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 You're okay, good. if not third strike. Trash? I'm going to go on the limb and say a prostitute. Hey! Gone out on a limb. Will you see if she has a branch office? <laughs> <clears throat> a lady of the evening. Hey! <laughs> One answer left. How about a newsstand? A newsstand. All right. 
The new stand is there. You've got it all. Very even game. If not, get ready to steal. New stand. <laughs> no. Nope. What do you say, Jimmy? What do you say? We have the correct answer, Don. It's Ooh. mailman. Yeah. yeah. Mailman's there. You take a great big lead. If not, a very even game, because you get it. A mailman? <laughs> oh, you got it. Heading up. Who's going to win? Won't know till we return. Bam. World. Well, this is it right now. Ooh. Any substitution? We have one. We have Nancy McCoy in and Maureen out. Nancy. Do it. Any substitutions, Dom? None. None? None. Happy the way it is? 83, 75. Let's play the fuse. Dollar values are doubled. 100 people surveyed, top five answers on the board. The question, name a place you would see a lot of flowers. Yeah. Flower garden. Garden. All right. Two answers better. Funeral. A funeral. What are you going to do? What are you going to play, A place you see a lot of flowers, Regina. You see them at weddings. Weddings. Can't go any faster than I'm doing, truly. You see him at the florist. Right. Why not? Randy comes up with the biggie. Florist! <laughs> One more, you take a great big lead. Place you see a lot of flowers, Jimmy. You see a lot of flowers in a home. Good in a home? Good. If a home's there, you got it. Home! <laughs> First strike. Well, Nancy, I'm gonna give you a kiss um, for luck. Mm, good what do you one. think? Um, you see a lot of flowers. Three seconds. I say in your yard. In your no, yard? Your garden. garden. Same as garden. Oh. Okay. Um, Three seconds. Then. Hawaii? I can't think of anything. In Hawaii? Yeah. Let's take Hawaii. a look. Hawaii! Okay. Come on, Debbie. Debbie. Come on, Place you see a lot of flowers. Well, the only thing I can think of is your dining room table. Okay. <laughs> but just, that's the house. That's home. Home. Oh, okay. That's the same as home. And yeah, that's the same as home. Okay. okay. You see flowers in hospitals. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hospitals there. You got it all. Hospital! Here's a chance for you right now. Hey, come on. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. 158 right there. What do you say? We say church. Church. Church is there. You get the 158. If not, give me Anna McCoy's get it. Church. Yeah. Yeah. Number four. Greenhouse. In the greenhouse. Any substitution? No, sir. Any substitution? No, sir. Anything for you, Don? Don. No substitutions. Okay. Take a look. 241, 75. Let's go. <laughs> Dollar balance is still doubled. 100, 100 people surveyed. Top four answers on the board. The question is, name a way to get rid of hiccups. Yep. Pat him on the back. Pat on the back. Oh. Drink water. Drink water. <laughs> what are you going to do? Way to get rid of hiccups, Randy. You scare him to death. Scare! Him. <laughs> Hold your breath and count to ten. Hold your breath. Number one. The way to get rid of hiccups, one answer left. If it's correct, you are the champ. Nancy, three Did seconds. Did I say hit him on the back? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, Jump up and down. Okay, is it there for the championship? Jump up and down. <laughs> First strike, Debbie. Well, I have two, and I may be deceiving our part. Put a paper bag over your head. Paper bag over your head, you got it all. Paper bag. Okay, Jimmy's off stage, cannot hear us. This is for luck. Thank you. Get the $5,000. Okay, darling? 
15 seconds, please. You be nice. This is your mom now, pal. No more show business for you. Thanks. Here we go. Well, I mean, you just claim he's adopted. Okay. Don't say he's yours. And I just want I him out of town. Bring him back with me. No, don't bring him back ever. Here we go. Name something teenagers eat. Uh, hamburgers. Any kind of cheese. Cheddar. Something that is sharp. Uh, knife. A brand of toothpaste. Uh, Colgate. A way to prepare eggs. Stut poached. Poached. Turn around. <laughs> Something teenagers eat, you said. Hamburgers. Survey set. 35. Good job. Any kind of cheese, you said. Cheddar survey said. 32. That's 67. Something that is sharp, you said. Knife survey set. 41. Brand of toothpaste, you said. Colgate survey said. 23. Way to prepare eggs, you said. Poached a survey set. 142. Good morning. Come on, Jim. Let's go. She's great, huh? Yeah, well, she is great. You're all great. You get 58 you. points. That's all you need for another $5,000. We'd love you to have it. I'll ask you the same questions I asked Debbie. You cannot duplicate her answers. If you do, you hear this. Say, try again. You give me another answer, okay? Right. Please remind everyone the answers Debbie gave us. Give me 20 seconds on the clock. Do it, okay? Yes, sir. Wish you luck. Here we go. Name something teenagers eat. Candy. Any kind of cheese. Um, American. Something that is sharp. A knife. Try again. Uh, a needle. A brand of toothpaste. Pepsi Dent. A way to prepare eggs. Fry them. Turn around. Here we go. Name something teenagers eat, we ask. You said candy survey set. Eight. <laughs> Hamburger was the number one answer. You're 50 points away. Any kind of cheese, you said American cheese. Mark. That's right. Survey set. Thirteen. <laughs> Cheddar cheese was number one. You're now 37 points away. Something that is sharp, you said. A needle, survey said. Zero. Oh. Knife was the number one answer. Brand of toothpaste, you said. Pepsodent, survey said. Five. <laughs> Crest. Crest was number one. And then a way to prepare eggs. Jimmy, you said fry them. It's worth 32 points. You got $5,000. Survey set. Oh. The number one answer, number one answer was scrambled. Scrambled eggs. $199. $5 for every point. Total off. $995. We'll be back right after this. Magic time, really the greatest. Hatfields, you may have gone down in defeat, but you won $11,272. Yeah. And you'll never be defeated in my eyes. You are all beautiful. I thank you. Thank you very much. And if you just stay there one second. You won, although you won the whole feud, you got $8,459. You missed it by one point. Right. We're going to make it up to $11,273. Okay? It's just dynamite. The winners of the feud are the McCoys. The marvelous, beautiful little trophy. It's our, our old friend here. <laughs> You're sleeping through your big moment. All the winners get it. And I really, I gotta tell you, it was just very special having you here. Congratulations to the losers. Congratulations to the God winners. Bless you, sir. And listen, Matt, I say this. You had fun, didn't you? Oh, yeah. And 
Can I take this as the fact as I hand these out? There's no hard feelings. Las Vegas, lights, clubs, games of chance. But behind the spectacle is a private world. The price of admission, $100,000 of your own money. It's the high stakes room you haven't seen until now. Watch Real High Rollers, Johnny Chan, Phil Helmuth, Doyle Brunson, Daniel Negrano, Barry Greenstein, and Jerry Buss. High stakes poker, Monday nights at 9, only on GSN. This game is the real deal.